Today we're going to review Proficient's Accountable Care Organization business analytic offering. This offering is built on the world-class IBM Cognos platform. This platform allows us to deliver solutions to mobile devices, web browsers, and incorporate industry-leading functionality and statistics for organizations to leverage business intelligence and analytics to improve their organization. Now, in our specific case today, we're going to review a fictitious hospital and in their, in their dashboards, mobile solutions to uh, improve their performance around accountable care. Where we would typically jump off in this case is starting with our compliance tab. Here on the compliance tab, what you'll notice is you have an overall score. You also have a domain score. So it will break down each of the measures into the four major groups and give you a domain score. Across the top, you'll see that you have a time bar slider, and as you move the data, or excuse me, the time bar, the scores and the graphics change below. Now to get to the next level of detail, you're going to want to see the results inside each domain, and our results tab allows us to do that. We have the four uh, measure domains across the top and we have their measure scores in the charts, as you can see. So each measure for each domain is listed, and then even in the case of at-risk, you have additional tabs as it breaks in the at-risk uh, measures into additional groupings around hypertension, heart failure, et cetera. Now, a part of this mobile solution is the ability to annotate and collaborate quickly with your peers and constituents. So as a part of the functionality of the IBM Cognos mobile solution, you have the ability to select and annotate here on the screen. And you can see we're having some problems right now with uh, this specific set of uh, measures. We want to drive some investigation into that. We can either drill or annotate and send an email to someone here. So this is a quick way to highlight where the problems are occurring quickly send off a note, and it's something that doesn't require uh, somebody to be sitting at their desk in order to do because all of this is fully available in a mobile application. And in addition to the ACO Cognos mobile solution we just showed, now what we're going to do is show some of the pre-built reports that come with the ACO solution through a web browser. As is with the mobile solution, these reports and dashboards you see are built on the world-class IBM Cognos platform. You know, in addition to getting the out-of-the-box reports provided with the analytic, the platform will also allow you to do uh, additional uh, report extension, new report development, ad hoc development and analysis. The platform is very flexible. And in addition, with the analytic running on top of the IBM healthcare provider data model, uh, it's natural that you will grow and use that data model further and further with additional clinical data, and the Cognos solution will be your business intelligence front end as you continue down that journey. So we're going to start with a online dashboard report that shows each of the measures in the ACO domains, all four domains, their scores, and we're going to do some analysis and try to uh, improve some performance. We're going to select September 30th of 2011 and get an initial set of scores for our measures. You will see the online dashboard presents each of these measures. Their point score, measure value, their target and their performance to target, as well as their one-year trend. What you'll notice, at least in measure 24, that there is not only uh, some pretty poor performance as far as its variance to target, but also a declining trend. So there definitely needs to be some improvement made in this measure pretty quickly. In order to determine where that action needs to take place, we're going to do some further analysis. We'll click here on the value of the measure, and that will drill us into an additional uh, report, which will provide the next level of detail. What you're looking at now is for this measure, based on various dimensions, such as provider or practitioner or their living arrangement, where is the performance problem? So in the case of by practitioner, what you can find is there are some practitioners 
who are not uh, delivering the uh, performance that they need to in order to uh, improve the ACO score. So that would be one place maybe we would target. With that in mind, we can continue to drill down into our advanced analysis dashboard. What this dashboard allows us to do is to get to the very root cause of where we need to improve performance, and that's through the actual patients. So in this case, what you're seeing is the patients that are in or not in compliance based on the provider location. And if you click on the patients not in compliance, what you'll now be able to get to is the patient level data. So the purpose here is to then use this list of patient information to request these patients to come in and take care of uh, the procedures needed to uh, take care of their co compliance with a specific measure. Now what should be happening through time is that after this action is taken and after the uh, performance has improved, we should start to see improving trends as we move forward in time. So I'm going to rerun my initial online dashboard. And we'll get a new score of our measures and see if performance has started to be made. Well, what you will now see is that the trend has improved significantly. That quarter's performance improvement has also improved significantly, as well as most of the rest of the measures here. So this is an example of how an accountable care organization can not only score their performance, but can also do the analysis and take the steps necessary to improve their performance in the future. Thank you for joining today, and we appreciate your time.